Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video today giving you guys another blind commentary, blind reaction. Today we're going to be checking out the Haikyuu movie clips. There are six movie clips that take place between like season one to after season three. Uh, I ended up, originally I was going to watch them, you know, I didn't know about them for a while and then originally there's like a couple that I think were... Um, it's like the last couple, like, it's the one that takes place, I think, after Alba Josai versus Karasuno that everyone wanted me to watch, and then there's also the one that takes place after Shiro Torizawa versus Karasuno. I'm gonna watch all six. Um, I think all of them are short. I think one of them's long. There's one that's, like, six minutes. I think that's the Alba Josai one, but it might be the Shiro Torizawa one. It's one of those two. But I'm very excited for this. This is kind of a chill out video. We're going to watch um, these six movie clips that were added scenes that weren't in the original anime. And then we're going to watch two OVAs. Um, I think it's like Land and Air and Path of the Ball, something like that. Um, I'll check when we get to them because we are doing these movie scenes first because the last movie scene takes place at the end, of, like after season three. Uh, and based on, like, I didn't see all of the titles, but I'm assuming, I saw that there was, like, a Datako one, so there's one on Date Tech, and I, there's one on Alba Josai, and there's one on Shira Torizawa, so it looks like these are gonna be, like, perspectives from teams that, uh, Karasuno beat. So, I'm assuming that, or, or just teams that lost, and, like, they're more of their, like, post-game after losing, which should be really interesting to see, honestly, so I'm actually pretty excited for this, um, obviously it doesn't have quite the same effect as being exactly where, exactly where in the story, uh, these things happened, but it was kind of just a bonus thing, and it was like, okay, and I was like, at that point, I was like, you know, might as well watch them all, uh, so yeah, we have some movie scenes to check out, and that's kind of all there is to say, really, I, I don't think I'll have much commentary, uh, post-commentary, I might even just run one into the other, unless I actually feel like I have a lot to say, because these are going to be short clips that are basically just extra stuff. But, regardless, let's check out episode, or this first clip, which is called Asahi and Nishinoya. So this is obviously one about those two, of course, they had quite the interesting relationship that has, you know, pretty much, they put everything behind them, but they had a, they, you know, they were, it was turbulent early on, to say the least. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna count down, let's just jump in. Um. Okay, this literally doesn't even have subtitles, okay. That's fine. Um, okay, is there like YouTube subtitles? So I downloaded these videos off of YouTube, uh, but I do still have the original YouTube links. So we'll have to see, uh, let me go. So if I go into the YouTube videos, Ah, yes, okay, so it's a closed caption thing, so I will have to watch these straight off of YouTube. That's perfectly fine. Anyways, now we're doing this for real. Let's actually jump into the first short in, uh, right now. Straight from YouTube. Hey, nice. Nice, there's a symbolism to that, yep, yep, because it's symbolic of the, the, uh, the tightening, the kind of resurrection of, of Noya and Asahi's friendship. Yep. Yeah, and of course the two of them doing it together, yep. Yep, and, and, and that has a double meaning, of course, very nice. Oh, yeah, it's not your problem. That's more, that's our deal. Sick! That was a really cool little scene, and it should just immediately just jump us into the next one, I believe. Yeah. 
All right, that was really cool. Now let's go again. We have Young Kuro and Kenma. Ah, and then they learned how to do it. Yep. You'll figure it out. <laughs> little, little Kuro is kind of adorable. I love how little Kuro looks exactly the same. I mean, to be fair, little Kenma kind of does too, but. Hey. Nice, nice, that was cool. Okay, now we got Kageyama and Oikawa. Okay, so now we're moving a little bit ahead. Not a ton, though. Sorry for the quality, but these are just ripped off of YouTube. I, it would have been way too much work to download these movies. If, you know, get the movies and, and, and just to watch specific clips, so... Wow. Wow. It's interesting, given that obviously we know where Aikawa ended up actually helping Kageyama a little bit. Not not, not physically, but with advice. If you're going to attack, do it until they break. That's that uh, that 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 um, those words spoke to him. Like those words had meaning to him, and that's actually really cool. All right, Date Cole's lost, so we're going to get into some Date Tech defeat stuff. So these last three, one of them's Date Cole's loss, and the other two, there's no names on the scenes, but it's Alba Josai ending and Shiro Torizawa ending, so it's obviously going to be at the end of Season 2 and at the end of Season 3, respectively. So, anyways, here is Date Cole's loss. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, just seeing again just how affected they were by everything. Yeah. We've done all we can, but yeah. It's rough. Aww. Damn. They believe in you guys, so you gotta make them proud. Oh, that was great. That was great. Alright, so now we get into the big ones. Um... Was that really two and a half minutes? That's so weird. It says it's two and a half minutes, but there was only 42 seconds. Was it, like, cut? Yeah, like, some of these say they're longer than they are. So that's kind of weird. Either way, either way, so I don't know if I actually even got the full scenes for some of these, but the Shiratori Zawa one says it's, you know, says it's over six minutes, and it is over six minutes, and it looks like same with the Shiratori Zawa one. So the two that, the two that I'm sure are uh, the most important, the two that most people, most of us want, most of you guys probably want me to watch, the Alba Josai and Shiratori Zawa ones look like they're... They weren't, like, cut down for copyright or anything, since these are on YouTube. And this one's actually in good quality, too. Epic. All right, let's check this out. This one's over six minutes long, and it's about my boy Oikawa, probably my favorite character. I mean, it's about Alba Josai, but, you know, you can't talk about Alba Josai without Oikawa. So, let's check this out. This one I'm really excited for. One of them, if anything, probably the main reason I'm even ch watching these at all. I'm curious about the shirt toys all in too. Hey! At least he's proud of you guys. Ooh. 
I don't think I've ever had gyoza before. Chinese ramen sounds good though. ごちそうさまでした。した。じゃあ、すいません。うん。失礼します。失礼します。おう。だな。くそ。くそ。本日は。いや、ナイス、ナイス。ああ、だ。やりすぎ。いや、ナイス、ナイス。ああ、だ。
Is that where it leaves off? This bump? Hell yeah. The theme's playing. Oh no, we actually got something here at the end. Ah! Oh my god! What the fuck? What the fuck? Just watching all the footage. I just constantly thinking about volleyball, thinking about their experiences, how to get better. Yeah, Mad Dog, of course. Yeah. Yeah, King Daichi's definitely one that would take that hard. Wow, that was awesome. Okay, that was awesome. Wow, that was really cool. That was obviously the Alba Josai one, and that was the long one, and that one I'm pretty sure was everything that I needed to see. Um, and the main the main one you guys wanted me to see. Definitely the Shira Torizawa one came up as well, which we're about to watch now, but I will say I really enjoyed the Alba Josai one. I thought like that was a really cool... There was some really cool stuff with the Waikawa there that just... Felt like a satisfying conclusion to his arc in the series. Uh, if, if he gets to play a big role in in the series moving forward, that would be phenomenal. I don't think that'll be the case. Uh, just the way the series is structured. In the end, this is Karasuno's story. But he is amazing. Um, if anything, I actually think uh, we could see uh, Ushiwaka play potentially a bigger role in the story because potentially we could see a situation where you have Kageyama setting for Ushiwaka with like the junior, with like the junior, the, the youth national kind of program. I could actually see the two of them working together more in season four, depending on how they're going to play that with the ending of season three. So I definitely think there's a scenario where. Uh, Ushiwaka actually is more of a relevant character moving forward and, and develops some sort of dynamic with Kageyama as opposed to Oikawa, who has, of course, been uh, not only Kageyama's contemporary, but kind of the the person he's been chasing the entire series from a pure, like, setter standpoint. That was really cool. Let's check out the Shiratori Zawa one. Okay, what do you guys say? Ha! Hi! What the fuck? お、お、お。オッケー、ワディガーセイ。はっ。はい。天道なきやと。わかった。死んだ時の言い方。お前がブロックの要だ。もっと自信を持っている。それとサーブを強化しろ。はい。調べる。はい。いや、he's うちに弱いスパイカーはいない。きっちり生かしてやる。いや。はい。梅田。はい。お前はフォームを安定させろ。なんとなくで練習するなよ。はい。湯野浜。はい。He's just going through one at a time. What do you what what what's most important to improve your game? Yeah, you guys thought that he was just doing his own thing. レシーブ。ドロック。メンタル。はい。課題を挙げたらキリがない。はい。もっと。ええ、さなんて大口よ。はい。頼むぞ。いや。いや。ちょ、チーム <laughs> yeah, you're a much different, um, you're a much different ace than Ushiwaka. <laughs> nice. And we'll get right back to practice, because you guys need all the help you can get. I was about to say, is that I assume that's it, but yeah, it is it. Okay. Alright! 
That was awesome. That was really cool. Um, I like the Shiro Torizawa one a lot. Admittedly, like I said, if not for the Alba Josai one, there wasn't... I don't think these were worth watching. I'm not saying they weren't cool. Um, you know, I think they were cool little scenes that added stuff. If anything, the, the, the first two were really cool, especially the Asahi and Nishinoya one I thought was a nice touch. But don't really have a lot to say. These were just... Just... You know, little bonus extensions on certain moments throughout the series. I think the most interesting one was the Alba Josai one, because that was actually like a six-minute scene, right? So that was like the full kind of... It was reminiscent, and it was it was, it was was very similar to how they did the end of Season 1 kind of post-game reaction to for Karasuno after they lost to Alba Josai. So it was kind of like a reversal of that, because it was the ending... It was the Season 2 ending where Karasuno won instead of Alba Josai, and you get the Alba Josai kind of uh, defeat reaction of sorts. And it was, in a lot of ways, similar but different, because obviously the difference between like what we saw with Alba Josai and Shiro Torizawa was a lot of these players don't get another chance, because this was it. This was, it. This was do or die. Um, whereas with the... Uh, Karasuno ones, as long as they, you know, decided, hey, we're going to take this one last run, even though it, it, it'll make everything harder for, from a, from a um, uh, scholar standpoint, as far as our schoolwork and stuff, we're still going to commit to the team for this one final run to try and make it to Nats. Um, and they did, of course. Uh, whereas here, it's just, that's it and for all the third years. So very interesting how that went. I, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was a great kind of parallel to the end of season one with uh, Karasuno. I don't know why I just derped on their name for a second. But um, yeah, that was cool. That was cool. I uh, thought these were decent and uh, there wasn't really a whole lot else to say. I didn't think I would have a lot to say about them, and I really didn't have a lot to say about them, but I'm still glad I watched them. I mean, why not, right? Speaking of things to watch that are not uh, main episodes of IQ, this is a kind of bonus video of sorts. We did these little things, these little bonus scenes, and now we have some OVAs to watch. We have two OVAs to watch. Let me find them here um god this is so confusing actually i don't even know what i this is actually so confusing uh i have like all these files and i'm like trying to even figure out what these are i don't even know well, I'll try to figure it out um, in a second, because we do have some OVAs to watch. So I'll see you guys in a flash when we get to the first one. All right, it's time for Land vs. Air. Um, for me, the they're labeled as Land vs. Air 1 and 2, but I am almost positive that I think what it is is technically it's like a two-part OVA series. Um, so I think these are going to, like the second one's going to continue off from the first one. Um, it was actually kind of uh, hard to figure out without spoiling myself, but I think I have the right videos, because Land and Land vs. Air is clearly one episode, but I think these are labeled as them both being called that. Regardless, I think I'm good. Land vs. Air 1 and 2 should be interesting. I'm excited to check these out. I'm curious what they're about. Land vs. Air, Path of the Ball, I mean, those feel like training. Path of the Ball feels like a training thing. But really, those are generic titles in regards to volleyball to where this could be anything. Because, um, I mean, I guess land versus air is talking about, like, land could be referring to a more defensive, like, play style and, like, a libero versus, like, air, aerial assault. That's more like a, like a wing striker type thing. And then path of the ball, I mean, that goes without saying. That could literally mean anything in um, volleyball. So let's just jump in to land versus air in three, two, one, and play. Oh, oh, this is tournament action. That sounds like a girl. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. 
Interesting. Oh, Tokyo! Oh, Tokyo time. So we can just see like Nakoma and Fukurodani. Okay. How many? I don't remember if they've ever said how many spots are on the line for Tokyo, because it's definitely more than one. Okay. I do imagine that Nekoma versus... Nekoma is probably... Like, now that we're going to Nationals, this is honestly... There, there's a real chance this could be the finals. Like, the final game of Haikyuu. What the fuck?! Bro! <sighs> ああ、また。そっか、なんで知ってて、猫間のいつも通りは前と違うっすよ。いや、there's Nohabi and Nekoma. Fukurodami, Tachiyama, yep. I don't know if... I, the name Itachi... I, obviously Fukur, Fukurodami. I forget if we've heard of Itachiyama before. Like, or Chidoriyama, I don't remember if... Nekoma. I love the chanting. You're... You're Captain Akane, huh? Hey, nice! I love you, Moto. Oh, it... oh, I thought that was his full name. Lobochka is very, uh, Russian. Dude, Russians in anime are always so hot. There's not a lot of them, but fuck. I mean, even Lev's pretty good looking. Like, he's probably bottom of the scale. He's not a Victor, Lev's older sister, like... No, he's he's locked and loaded. He's fully engaged. So again, there's at least two spots on the line because they said if you make it to, to the finals, you go to Nats. Nice. All the way to the crowd, Jesus. And there's his classic hey, hey, hey. Tipping one off their fingers all the way into the crowd will do that, though. That's pretty hype. Bokuto, gone for another one! Those are cat eyes right there. Yo! Yep. <laughs> Nice. Oh. Yeah, he wants to go head to head with that libero. He's like, he's getting excited. 
Damn. Damn. Bokuto is a savage. Holy shit. Yep. Jesus. So much power in it. He saw it. He predicted it, but it didn't matter. うん。いや、クロウさんのときはもっとボクトさんに止めてた気がするのに。うん。いや、クロウ、he ボクトさんは絶好調。そして役君も絶好調。いや、今日はよく見えるぜ。ボクトさんは特にストレートが絶好調で、クロスにいる役君をすごく意識してる。うん。ブロックはクロスを締めてたけど、ストレートの方を締
Dude, Akane needs to chill. She's getting way too turned on by this. Nice. そんなこと。焦んないで。ちゃんと。整ってきてるから。うん。まだまだ商用に及ぶ。Yeah, that's really gonna egg, egg live on to show what he can do. Nice! Bro, this girl is horny for some volleyball. あかねちゃんもしかして。<laughs> What the? Oh, I already love her. I don't know. Is that? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no, she's just horny for volleyball. You play good, she, she'll get turned on. You play bad, dry as a desert. I already love Okane. Holy shit. That's the thing, right? They play very pure volleyball, which is why Rev is a weird fit to, because he's such a raw talent. Mm -hmm. Bro, I can just listen to these chants all day. That is like the best part of this shit. That's why I'm glad we're in the big time now. Games that. Big games. The cheering sections. He's in too much of a rhythm. Why? 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 <laughs> no. Yes, as funny as that would be. <laughs> he, yeah, it really is. Yeah, he's just trying to では何も考えずにクロス打ってください。ただ気持ちよく。道は作りますので。That was actually really cool. Holy shit. コズメはきっと。ケンマンオンサーブ。サブレシーバーいつもにネット側にお願いします。さすが反応早い。Yeah, yeah. ローテ well, we know he is. He is. Uh, he probably will. Your back should be an inspiration to your teammates. What a... Smash every ball in your Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Every ball shall be spiked. That was a demon ball. Jesus. Now she's getting aroused and when she doesn't want to. Damn. Alright, they beat him in straight sets. I'm assuming that's not it, or is it? 
It's it's easy. Yeah, it's respectable, honestly. Koma wa team work no team da kara. Wa o mi dashita dame da te wakatte run desu kedo. Omae, chanto sonna koto kangaete tano ka. You'll get there. Daiji da na. Team te fukuzatsu da kara. Sure. Yeah, there's a lot of elements to balance. Shito to chanto chanto to awaseru te keko muzukashi. Bezu ni. デルクユウツベシって言うんじゃねえの。なんつうのかな。チームワークがハマる瞬間ってのは多分お前が思ってるよりずっと気持ちいいぞ。よ。Yep. Got the texts from Hinata. Karasuno's through in their prefecture. Okay, okay, so so they play a third place game and whoever gets the bronze goes through. Okay, I got you. So Fukurodani's through regardless of what happens in the finals. And Itachiyama's through. Hey, cause it's Nekoma. Ha 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 ha. That's cute. I like it. What the fuck, dude? Goated fucking Kuro. What the fuck? Okay, so now no heavy and I'm derping on the Nekoma fight for the chance. <laughs> So yeah, both of them lost, and now this is this is the game for the third spot. And then Itachiyama and um... fuck, I all of a sudden I forgot the name of uh, Fukurodani and Itachiyama play for Pride, and it's kind of just a friendly leading into nationals, really. When you think about it, like winning your prefecture is cool, but it's not that important. Where this one's for all the marbles. This is a win or go home in the third, fourth place, in the third place game. Yep. I like the colors. They're very, they make me think of Brazil. That seemed very relaxed and very chill. Damn. I'm sure you will. Wow. <laughs><笑> Okay, back and forth. Nice. They're really trying to get. They're really trying to get in Lev's head. Well, they're hanging in there though. Oh! Damn。Yeah, even that's on purpose. They're doing that just to kind of mess with you like, hey, we're sorry, but Dude, dude, he has a fuck. He has the fucking Frank Sawit face. For anyone who who likes their fucking Ace Attorney, their fucking Yakuden Saiban, that shit is fucking. That is a fucking Frank Sawit face if I've ever seen it, and that's the worst type of face you could possibly have. Don't let him get to you, Lev. Nice. 
でぶん回すんじゃねえ取りづらいだろうがでも役さんは絶対拾ってくれるじゃないですかあはははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははは Yo! You gotta, you gotta love a beast libero. Holy shit. Whoa! Holy shit! That wasn't even a spike. He dunked that thing. What the fuck? My to chigasio. Jesus Christ. You get the sparkling greens. Uh oh. Oh shit, is he hurt? Oh, and we get the little, we get the little dramatic cliffhanger for the second part. I like it. I like it. I need more liquids. I might uh, take a drink break after this. I like this song. We're vibing. It's always cool to see with these projects all the different studios that like help out with like little things. Because that's kind of one of the cool things about the anime industry is like, yeah, obviously one studio basically ma like makes the actual series, but there are like little chip ins of like little little detail things with from other places, which I think is really cool. It's just a random thing, but it's cool. Is there something at the end? No, definitely not. We have two seconds left. Alrighty, that was Land vs. Air, the first half, which I guess the second half is called Path of the Ball, because I'm pretty sure... Uh, I'm pretty sure Land vs... Because my files have them labeled as Land vs. Air 1 and Land vs. Air 2, but I think Land vs. Air 2, especially having watched the first Land vs. Air, where it leaves off on a cliffhanger that we're going to get the finale of this match and find out whether or not Nekoma is going to Nationals, which, again, Nekoma's going to Nationals. I I don't know if this game will actually be the finale, like, of the series. I don't know if this game will be the final match, like, for the Nationals or not with Nekoma because they have built up some other schools, um, like the school that uh, Noya's from, obviously Fukurodani, um, you know, there's other schools, that, there's a few others that they've teased before, uh, throughout the country. I, I, I don't know if the Nekoma match is going to be the finale, but I would be, there, I, I think there's no way, just from a narrative storytelling standpoint, that they can't do, that they, they have to do the battle, the garbage dumpster match at Nationals at some point. Again, I don't know if they're going to go so far as to give us that perfect ending of Nekoma versus Karasuno in the finals, but I definitely think they, they have to give us Nekoma versus Karasuno at some point. Um, but yeah, this is interesting, to say the least. I didn't know what to expect. I was kind of expecting us to get a situation where we would have, like, uh, practice OVAs. I didn't think they'd be this serious. It's interesting that a lot of the OVAs, almost all of the OVAs have been focused on Nekoma in this series, which is actually really cool. Uh, it's kind of built up this like mini OVA arc of Nekoma as like the, almost like the alt protagonist, right? Like it feels like one of those situations where it's like, I, you know, obviously I don't know anything really. I don't even know the name of the creator of Haikyuu. I actually should. Uh, maybe I'll make sure to learn their name uh, before I do uh, season four. But the creator of Q, it feels like, you know, they kind of built these teams, right? And they built, like, key players, and then you have more of the kind of, like, you know, the less the less key players and stuff. But they, they built these teams and weren't sure who, you know, more conceptualized the various, like, important teams before actually conceptualizing 
who the main character would be and like what team would be the center of the story uh, before landing on Karasuno and then modifying the story accordingly. Um, Because I feel like there's a lot of reasons why like obviously like Hinata fits that you know role so well, but it definitely feels like Nekoma in a lot of ways like could have been the main characters of this story. Like, I could definitely see where, like, they conceptually, I could have see that they could have concept, been conceptualized in that role. Just with the makeup of their team, that you know, like, the way they play, how it's a very fluid form of uh, volleyball, a very pure form of volleyball. Even the late edition of Lev very much kind of fits even how they structured the stuff with Karasuno in the first season. Uh, so I could kind of see they're kind of they feel like the alternate protagonists and obviously Nekoma's rivalry with Karasuno and all that um you know and, and I, I highly doubt that that's the case that that was ever a consideration but it definitely feels like there it's a situation where they are meant to be kind of our second team to root for uh and, and, and like I said our alternate protagonists we're supposed to be rooting to see the garbage dumpster match at nationals and hopefully in the finals, best case scenario. Uh, but whatever the case may be, I did really enjoy that. I thought that was a great episode, and I'm excited to see the rest of this match. I really wasn't expecting to get, like, high-stakes matches. I'm kind of caught off guard. I'm not really emotionally ready because there's a, there is a chance that in the very next episode we watch, Nakuma just gets fucked and just gets knocked out. I can't imagine that. I think it's a very low possibility, but you never know. Um, but whatever the case may be, good stuff, enjoyed that episode, and I'm excited to finish off these OVAs and watch Path of the Ball, which again, I mean, based on what we saw in the last episode, I'd assume that refers to, like, Bokuto and, like, his stuff and how they're trying to kind of manipulate the Path of the Ball with him, but the problem is that they already beat, you know, they already had the match with Fukuro Dani, so it's got to be about Lev. I mean, I, it's got to have something to do with Lev. And specifically, maybe the path of the ball that Kenma gets to get into Lev's shot, to get into his spiking kind of um, position, which is kind of similar to stuff that we've had with Kageyama and Hinata uh, on Karasuno, which again is another reason why you see the connections there. Um, very interesting stuff, though. I'm, I'm excited to uh, check out what... This second OVA, the second half of this OVA, however you want to label it, what the next episode of IQ, we'll just keep it simple like that, has in store for us. So let's check out the second OVA. All right, let's jump into the rest of Len vs. Air, Path of the Ball, second OVA of, I guess, season four. Technically, these are like pre-season, considered pre-season four OVAs, not post-season three OVAs, even though what's the fucking difference, really? But anyways, let's jump in. Three, two, one, and the play. Oh. Oh, flashback? Oh, flashback? クロテツロ。3組の役盛り付けだ。知ってる。うん <笑> Wow, they have nothing in common. Dude. Wow. Bro, I, I love meat and I love fish, so... Hey, I'm down for either. <laughs> Bro's gonna be like, I like girls with long hair and big tits. Watch. Watch. Yep. Yo! Wow, even the ball brands. Those are the two big ones. Wow. 
Dude, I literally most of, all of those food comments I can go either way. I just like good food. But I'm, there's very few foods I don't like. But there's one thing they can agree on. Hey. Over <laughs> Yuki over here. It's like, yeah, sure. I go with that. The path of the ball. Okay, there it is. I have my confirmation finally. Holy shit. I like that little, like, graphic with the sick music there, kind of in place of a full OP. <laughs> Dude, that was so clean. I, I was really impressed because it looked like he avoided injury, and yet, it, as we found out, he might have actually got hurt on that play anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, he twisted his ankle, maybe? <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, God. That's a problem. Oh, shit. やくにはいつも面倒をかけてるんでたまには Dude, dude, hey, man, this is topical, but hey, I mean, you you did a you did a huge thing to help us win. It, this, this is honestly looking a lot like the U.S. Iran game. They just gotta pull it out now. Yeah, the soccer, of course. I'm talking about the World Cup football, not quite a uh, volleyball, but hey, yeah, they're gonna make you piss yourself. You gotta step up, man. Number 12, you gotta do your thing. They're gonna target him right away, yes. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, they're not impressed with you. Yeah, you need to calm the fuck down. It's true. I won't love to say something. ね、テンション下げすぎ。大丈夫なんじゃない？喧嘩は試合の勝敗に差ほど興味がない。だからその言葉は熱を持たない。可能か不可能かの分析だけ。Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because he's the ultimate realist. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. All you can do is take advantage of the opportunities you have. Yeah. That's the way it is in sports. Sometimes you're not the star. Sometimes you just gotta... You gotta do what you can do when you get your opportunities. Make the most of the opportunities you get. Alright. I get it though, their strategy is to always look for the weaknesses and just attack them. Is that a jump float? Yup, yup, yup. You read it really well? Nice! Great face. 
Hey, you gotta do what you can do. Chance for it. Kuro is a great blocker, but he's also a great all around player, yep. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm gonna protect my teammate. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what makes it predictable. Yep. Turning the weak his, the weak, yep, turning Love's weakness into his strength, yep. Yeah, but Kuro is gonna have to just he's yeah, he's gonna be out on it on his A game. Because Kuro is their best all-around defensive player. And with your libero out, yeah. レギュラーの座は自分の価値で奪え。攻撃って武器を持たなくてもなおコートに立つ価値があるって思わせるんだよ。守りの根こまでリベロやるって超名誉だろ。Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. If anything, yeah, especially for a defensive-minded team, you're kind of the anchor of the team as the libero. You could argue the libero is the anchor for any team, but I would ar I would argue an offensive-minded team, it's the center. And a defensive-minded team, it's the libero. Certainly they, in many ways, you could argue, are the two most important positions, though. Yes, do so. <laughs> it's cute to hear it, um... Damn, okay, 26-25.綺麗なフォームだな。どっちに打ってくるか全然わかんない。クグリ。やっぱあいつ俺より上よ。そんなことはないっすよね、マサン。今回は結構で仕事なく。監督はやる気全面に出してる奴が好きだけど、クグリは
触りましたうわあ、やってるやってる優等生くぐりクロス<笑> Damn, got him. あの12番相手に読み合いじゃ多分勝てないよ本当わかんないもんインサーか前の試合で親指脱臼した人だルナー行けるのいいすすごい盛り上がりだねあの人がノヘビのエースなんだと思ううんお願い一本で切って Oh. Oh. He's playing through the pain here. Yeah, I was thinking they put him in as a pinch server, and the idea is that, oh no. Again! のはボールを取れないって判断した瞬間、先進からかかってきた。そんでアウトの主張をする。ああ、クリーン。審判にだけいい子ちゃんだからな。成功試合試合。Well, I mean, hey, you gotta take every advantage you can get. It's like flopping in basketball or soccer. どうして手を尽くさないんだろうな。試合の中に確実なものなんて一つもない。すべては。どこかで服を追い風のため、うん、だからこそ煽りも込みも全身全霊点を取るための手を尽くせ会場の空気も味方につけろ Oh yeah, I guess a、uh, heavy I'm not even paying attention to look for the fucking animal references but yes, I do know heavy means snake 見たいだけだ So, yeah, that makes, that, that, that makes sense That also explains the green Jesus. Alright, let's do it again. Let's see it. Mm -hmm. Got a nice, nice cross, but. Yeah. Yeah, they gotta get him out of the game. There's only so much he can do with his injury. Nice, nice touch. Yep. Tied at 22. That's interesting that there were four lights representing sets, so is there a scenario where you do play a best of seven? Ooh. Yep. Hey. He's, he's there for you. You can rely on him. Damn, Lev! Lev's like, this is my moment. Yeah. I mean, if you can't get it here, you go to a deuce at 24 all. And it's a deuce. Yep. Yeah, Kaguri is, uh... Yeah, he's like, I'm hot. <laughs> Bro, the others are like, damn, we're not hot. Damn. Damn, this OST kind of slaps, holy shit. I don't recognize it, I feel like this is a new one. But I hope we'll hear it sometimes in Season 4. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 
でも役さんは絶対拾ってくれるじゃないですか僕後ろにいるから Yeah, it's like the moment of truth, like it's finally clicking for Lev. Yaksan, Janeo. Hmm. All right. Nice. Another match point for Nekoma, yeah. Yep, yep, good effort, good effort. Yep. The girls are cheering for you. Let's play him better and better. And now look clean as fuck. Yep. Yep. That might do it. Let's see if somebody can get to it. Nope. That's game, and Nekoma is on the Nats. Great to see it. All right, so they snuck in as the third and final Tokyo representative then. So not as scary as Fukurodani or Itachiyama, but uh. Nakuma's in, that's all that matters. Hell yeah! Mm -hmm. It'll feel better than you think. Yep, 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 yep. Let's get it! Hell yeah! And that's a bond. どうよ。止めるだけじゃなかった<笑> There you go. <laughs> Kuro smile is so evil. Dude, Kuro is up there. I Kuro is honestly up there. And we still have more Nekoma to go in this story. Kuro Loki is one of the best characters in this series. I haven't given him his flowers, but he's fucking great. Or maybe as much as I should. すげえことだ。それによく。俺は。お前がちゃんと悔しそうなことに。いや。なんか安心してる。いや。He へたくそにはへたくそって言ってるよ。具体的にはリアルアーティストやく。自分がレシーブできなかった直後にブロックが悪い。修正しろなんてなかなか言えないよ。ああ、そう。やくほどレシーブに自信満々じゃないからね。よ
Yep. No, I actually have to go back. I actually missed. Okay, so Itachiyama beat Itachiyama beat. Yeah, that that was the score of the game we just watched, but I swear it. Okay, yeah, yeah. So Itachi Itachiyama lost the first set, came back and won the second and third sets. Okay, so they just played a, a best of three. Okay. And then, of course, okay, I get it. So they get three represent, re representatives because so you, they get two seeds due to population. They get a third, a third representative because uh, it takes place in Tokyo, I guess. So, like, they, they host it. They host nationals because, of course, they would be in Tokyo. So they get an extra team. And so I guess the way it's structured on population, Nekoma's kind of probably... I don't know how many teams in total they they allow in into the um into the tournament, but they're like the final team, so to speak, to make it. Uh, they literally are the last team because because the Tokyo qualifiers were the final qualifiers, and Itachiyama and Fukurodani when they got to the finals they advanced, but the th the third place game still had to be played. So yeah, it's just a seeding thing. So Nekoma. Probably, if I had to guess, we'll have to play whoever the highest seeded team in the entire country is, if I had to guess, in the first round. Which might be Itachiyama. They might actually have to play Itachiyama in the first round. Of, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we'll see how the national tournament goes. I don't know if it's single elimination. I don't know if it's round robin. Who knows how it's structured? There's a lot of ways you could structure a tournament. It could be like a table, like a, in like like a like a like a table. Could be like a like a, like the soccer world cup type format. There's a lot of different ways you can do a tournament. Um, what we've seen mostly though has been single elimination. So I'm just assuming it's single elim. Could be double elim. Like there's a lot of possibilities. I guess we'll find out in season four what the spring tournament actually looks like. Hmm. Is he not? Uh, yeah, it's Ken Mattel and Hinata that he he that he got through. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bro's hyped up. Yep. I'll just kill one and get make dinner. Oh wow, actual wild boar! What the fuck? Dumbass show, yo. What the fuck? Oh, that was awesome. Wow, okay, okay. So we actually got to see Nekoma advance to Nationals. That was cool. I fully expected this OVA to be about Karasuno. I fully expected this to just be, like, extra training. Actually, now that I think about it, the other thing that I thought it could be was it could be the teaser from the end of Season 3. This could have been Kageyama-focused. Um, but no, it was just, it was just us getting to see Nekoma advance, kind of continuing the Nekoma OVA arc, uh, where they get some focus in between the seasons, which is really cool. And I'm really down for it. Um, I love Nekoma. They're a really cool team. I really love Kenma. I really love Kuro. Um, you know, there's some other cool boys on that team and I'm just really excited because we're in the final stretch. And this is it. You know, we have uh, six more videos after this for Q because we are going to be doing uh, season four and six videos. Uh, so there will be um, most of them. Yeah, we got we got some variations. In fact, I think. Yeah, I mean, we're going to get through season four relatively fast because we have, yeah, some two. Yeah, we got some four episode videos, a couple fives, and we got a three. So generally, we're uh, going to be getting through it fairly quickly. We only have six more videos left in this set after this video, which, uh, in this um, rotation, I guess, which is crazy. 
we'll be start because we'll we'll be getting to the uh, high Q replacement around the same time as the uh, the Monogatari replacement. So slot one will be starting the ne the our next really long anime series. This is more of a wild card. I mean, I've decided what it is, but it can vary. It could be anywhere from a thirty to one hundred and twenty episode anime in this slot but we're starting to creep our way there and if i start to be consistent again like i hope i will be by the time you guys see this video i'm hoping that all of uh, you know kind of started a bit of a streak here i don't mean like just every day well i mean possibly but i i mean like generally just being consistent again because things haven't been the greatest lately but um i want to get back on track i'm really excited for season four of Q. i'm very curious i think this is the most like directionless i feel like the story's been and you'd say oh you're going to nationals but like how are they gonna write this like i'm actually really curious like again i need to look up the name of the creator of Q, but how are they gonna structure the, the the rest of this series now obviously we have the fourth season then things get really murky because there's like the two-part movie finale that's been announced and Fans who know what's up about Haiku are like, hey, there's no way that they, they could properly adapt this shit into movies, what's left after season four. And that's a whole mess, right? And I've talked about this a little bit in the past, because this, 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 hap this announcement happened while I'm during my Haiku reaction series, and that my current plan is just, I'm going to get through Haiku, which, you know, so through season four now, and we're going to worry about that in the future. That's going to be the end of the series for the time being. And down the line, I might return to the series, either either watching the movies or reading the manga, probably depending on the situation with the movies. If the movies are what people thought they were, and it, it's really bad because they just, they condensed it way too much, then I'll probably just read the manga from, from, from the, the point in season four. Uh, well, I would read the whole manga, but I would read it, like, by myself up until where I left off in the anime. You guys get what I'm trying to say. It makes sense. <laughs> uh, but that, that doesn't matter. We're, we're stopping after season four regardless for the time being. But I'm really excited for season four. I'm very curious how they're going to structure this. Like, it seems weird because I just don't think... Like, I'm curious when Nationals will start, how much training, kind of practice, arc, sauce we're going to get. Um... And just, I don't know. I don't I don't know how this is going to go. I don't even know how many teams got through. Um, if Tokyo gets two, maybe 16. I originally thought 32 teams, but if Tokyo gets two, and technically Tokyo gets three, but maybe only 16? I don't know. I mean, if it's single elimination, it, it, it has to be 16 or 32. I am trying to think of how many prefectures there are in Japan, because there's clearly one representative per prefecture. And then, I, I don't know, I feel like there's more prefectures than, like, 14 or whatever, you know, 12, 13, 14. I feel like there's more than that. I don't know. I'm trying to remember. It's been so long since I've looked at, like, Japanese, like, geography and stuff. So, I'm, I'm like, I mean, I know, obviously... Unless it's, that's the thing, if it's not a, if it's not single a limb, then they, it could be any number. It doesn't have to be like a 16. If it's single elimination, then it has to be like 16 or 32, realistically, because I wouldn't, I, I doubt it's 64. It seems more exclusive than that. Um, 32 is just the, the magic number, right? But I, I don't know. It might only be 16. Either way... I don't know if it's single elimination. It could be some weird number. It could be like 24 or something. 24, if no, that sounds right to me based on like how many prefectures I think there are. And like, you know, maybe, maybe, like maybe there might be one or two other prefectures that have multiple representatives, um, depending on their population and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm very excited for season four and I'm very curious because even though it's obviously obvious we're going to nationals, I don't really see the obvious structure of the story at this point. It feels like this part, I'm just very curious how they're going to write, how much time it's going to take for us to officially start Nationals, like half the season maybe, and how much of Nationals we're going to get through because I'm assuming at this point 
To me, the Shiratorizawa match was the match that we could lose. I think we're winning. I do legitimately at this point now believe that Karasuno will win nationals this season, this year, however you want to frame it. Um, so it's just a matter of like, how long is, is it going to be for us to get to nationals? And then how long nationals is going to take? Cause I think nationals is the end of the story. And I think every match Karasuno has in nationals will be like its own fucking like six plus ep like its own fucking like match with Alba Josai at the end of season two or Shira Torizawa in season three. I think every big tournament match it depends on, again, how extended the tournament is, but if it's just a single elimination bracket, that shit, they're going to go... It's going to be, like, eight episodes worth of content per match. Like, unironically. Or, like, maybe some will be, like, four or five. So that's the thing, right? Like, I don't know how many matches we'll even get in Season 4 just because I think every Nationals match should be its own fucking event. Um... And I don't know if that's how they're going to do it, but they've built up a lot of these teams either directly or just kind of mentioning them where we're going to know half of the teams there just from by name in one form or another. Um, so I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited for season four and I'm really looking forward to hopefully almost certainly at some point getting Nekoma versus Konos, uh, I was about to say Konosuba, Karasuno. <laughs> And uh, I'm really excited for, again, to see uh, Fukurodani. I'm excited to see Tachiyama, uh, Chidoriyama. I'm trying to think of what other teams we know are going to be there. Because Chidoriyama being um, uh, fucking Noya's old school. Uh, that makes sense. I think there was one other team that was teased as like one of the top three. But it might have been Ch Chidoriyami, Tachiyama, and Shira Torizawa. Um, I don't know. There's a few teams that they've teased in the past. I'm trying to remember all their names, but they're long-ass Japanese names, which makes it hard to remember. Um, that's so funny, though. It really is so funny. I, I should be paying more attention to the names, because a lot of them, like, times, like, I know the words for these animals from just anime or just because for some other reason like at some point like i i consume enough japanese media between anime there's wrestling mixed in as well and like other shit that like i there are certain words i know and like that's the thing like i didn't even think anything about no heavy and then i realized and then they did the snake thing and i was like their name is no heavy heavy means snake i'm a fucking idiot right like right like karasuno i didn't know the connection but like obviously nekoma is a very obvious one because like pretty much anyone who knows even a remote thing about japanese culture knows that neko means cat because of fucking cat girls and other bullshit that's like prevalent <laughs> in the fucking like weeb culture um but like yeah like all of these fucking schools have a fucking reference to a fucking animal and that and that's like used in the symbolism and stuff in the show because that's just the high q thing you know uh and it was done really well in the last opening which that's another thing i'm really excited for is new openings uh, the openings it's so funny i thought were so boring in like season one and i even think the first one of season two might have been like they were getting better but for a while, the openings kind of sucked, like, relatively. Like, anime openings are always cool, but they were just kind of nothing burgers. And then they got badass. Like, the, 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 the one at the end of Season 2 and the one in Season 3 were awesome. So I'm really excited to see where the openings are for Season 4. Because we should have two, since it is 25 episodes. And they've there, there's been one a core, so we should have two. Which uh, should be really exciting. I don't know. I'm kind of on a bit of a tangent, and um, I really don't think I have much else to say, so I'm going to leave it off here. Nekoma's through to Nationals, which is awesome. I can't wait to see them eventually play Karasuno, hopefully, and I'm really excited for Season 4, which we will begin Season 4 next time with Haikyuu. We're actually going to be doing a pretty long video, so that'll be fun. Uh, this kind of acted as a little bit of a break, even though I just generally have not been posting much, so I probably didn't need it anyways, but, uh, the next video will be a bit on the longer side. Anyways, 
Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to support my channel, my Patreon is down below in the description, as is my Discord server. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, those of you who have not yet decided, without any further ado, it is time for me to bid you adieu. The Flaming Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.